Well, let's jump right into our first smart topic. We just survived our first official weekend of summer. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you know, with 115 degrees, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, extreme heat, but also could be time for breaking out the grill for some barbecue. That's true. It is a good time uh, to do that. But it's also time to be careful. Believe it or not, about 7,000 people are injured by grill fires every year. And you're about to see two dramatic demonstrations of the possible dangers. Take a look. You're looking at a controlled catastrophe, a fire we set to show you what can happen when you misuse a grill. Like earlier this month in Ohio. I need uh, EMS out here right away, multiple units. The family had left a charcoal grill that was out but still hot too close to the side of their house, and the resulting fire killed them all. Words cannot explain the loss of a family like that. So we teamed up with Underwriters Laboratories to create two worst case scenarios with grills. One gas, one charcoal. Tip one for gas grills. Check for gas leaks by rubbing dish soap on the hoses and connections. So that's the propane that's forcing those bubbles Absolutely. Out. That means this connection has to be tightened more securely. Tip two, never turn on a gas grill with the lid closed. You could have a huge buildup of gas there that could ignite. But we don't want to tell you. We want to show you. Using a remote control, a lab technician unleashes the lid. Two, one. In a fraction of a second, a fireball burns the hair off of the little girl mannequin. Watch again in slow motion. This is what happens when explosive gas is trapped in your grill. Tip one for charcoal grills. Keep them at least 10 feet away from your home. Get it as far away from your home, your garage, or your carport as possible. Tip two, never leave a grill unattended. If anything happens, you should be able to get there quickly and take care of it. All right, so okay. time to light this thing Let's on fire. Let's do it. UL lights the grill, and at first, all is well. But when firefighters simply flip the burgers and stoke the coals, the fire flares up into the hanging plant above. Wow, we just experienced a much bigger surge of heat. I'm going to step back. We're now about six minutes in, and you can see that this would be a situation that would be hard to survive. Just nine minutes after the flames first flare up into the flowers, the entire porch is consumed. UL's firefighters declare the scene unsafe and put the fire out. Well, now that you know what not to do around your grill, let's talk about how to keep your grill clean. Mm -hmm. That's today's how-to smart tip. So, Connie, let me ask you a question. What type yep. of grill do you have at home? I actually have a, uh, a gas grill, but it's hooked up to the house, so okay. it's pretty powerful. Yeah, I know. I've seen it before. It's like this one. Monster. <laughs> so how do you keep your grill clean? Uh, normally, I turn all the burners on, and I close the lid and let it all just burn for about 15 minutes. Okay. So is your grill, like, does it almost look brand new when you first got it? Yeah. Wow, it that's does. very impressive. But, um, you, but it can't, look at this grill. I mean, there's a lot of gunk in here, and it can oh, yeah. easily look like that. Yes, exactly. And that's what today's How To Smart Grill. Now, you know, a lot of people know for propane that exactly how you would clean your grill. But for charcoal grills, yeah. what you would do is you would light it up, Okay. Let the um, fire burn on the uh, grill. Obviously, you don't have anything on top of it. Mm -hmm. And then you want to take a brush and scrape it off while it's warm. Okay. So just scrub it away, and that yeah. will help. So, and Mad Joe, Mad Coyote Joe showed us how to do that um, last summer, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. He's showing us how to do that right now. So you just light it up, and you grill, grill, and you just and take that brush, it. and it yeah. scrubs away. And it does it with great ease, I have to say. But there's another way that you can clean your grill, and I actually found it in Joey Green's Cleaning Magic book okay. of how to do this. So I thought this would be kind of a cool idea. Now, Connie, I want to let you know, first off, this, is this grill, your grill is not associated with me. Okay? It's not like your cooler? It came with the marriage. Okay. Okay? So. You know, I was in Philadelphia this last week, and some friends actually said, I saw the cooler segment. <laughs> Please tell me that wasn't really Daphne's cooler. It really well, was my husband. It comes with the marriage. Right, it comes right, with right, the marriage. Right, right. So this grill right here is yeah. from our little charcoal grill that is, I, it's got to be at least 50, it, the grill's got to be at least 30 years old. Okay. So what it said to do in the book yes. is you want to take your grill off, you put it in a plastic bag. Yeah. Okay. Then you want to spray. The plastic bag looked like it cleaned well, it pretty well itself. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Of course, this bag was very clean. Is in there. Yeah. But um, before we actually cleaned it, I don't know if we had a picture come up of how it looked like before. Before. Yeah. I took this uh, yesterday. That's the dirty version? Yeah, that's the dirty and version. And the part in your hand is what? <laughs> well, just hold on. Right, 
Jane, can you see this bag? Look at the bag that it came in. Is that just disgusting? No, no, but what you do is, hold yeah. on, this is what the how-to's about. Okay, I'm so waiting. So you take your grill, yeah. you put it in the bag, okay. a clean plastic bag, yes. and then you spray Easy Off Cleaner all over it, oh. and then you seal the bag, and that's what we had before. Okay. So you seal the bag. And then you keep it overnight. So that's the gunk in there. Right. That's this is up all the it. stuff that came off of it, Connie. Okay. <laughs> that just wasn't transporting it here. Got it. Okay. Oh, so then what you do is um, the next morning you wake up and then you just take a real, a real powerful hose to it and mm -hmm. it should rinse off. Okay. Now, unfortunately, due to the fact that we don't have a garden hose right here in our yes. studio, I did actually rent some of it off in our sink here at the station, yeah. and you can see. And the as difference you know, between the two. Right. Yeah, flip it over for a second because okay. I can really see the gunky gunk up yeah, on like top gross. there. Yeah, that's delish. And then down here, it is much better. Right, and that's the side that I rinsed off. Okay. So there you go. Okay. That's a pretty how to simple tip. So is that going to be really, really clean when I come to your house for the barbecue? Honey, I'm going to get a new grill for you. We're not even, <laughs> I, I can't even show you that one. It came with the marriage. It came no, with I the know, marriage. I know. That's a great smart tip. <laughs> yeah, actually what we'll do is we'll just have you bring your grill to our house. <laughs> no, so don't do that. Do. Well, don't if you want that. more information, you can head to our website at abc15.com and click on the lifestyle tab. Hey, we know that a lot of you have some great ideas yourself. So we're asking you to share them with us here on our Smart Family 15 Facebook page. Let's take a look at the computer because Eric Jockass Jr. says searing seals in the juices and that's what he likes to do on his barbecue when he's cooking. Yes and Carrie says grill packs aluminum foil wrapped veggies dressed with olive oil and garlic salt. They are perfect every time and this will work with almost any type of veggie. All right and another cooking tip from Carol Sanchez she says steamed first then grill it with dry seasonings. Oh, I like that. And Pamela Odom says, get your son-in-law to do it for you. And that's my favorite. Or Pam, your we husband. like your sense of humor. We love when you're on the show. Well, join the conversation. We love to read your comments. You can find us on Facebook.com forward slash smartfamily15.